everyone G the wheat okay so you've seen me do some uh, anime finds on Twitter and uh, people were wondering what kind of uh, anime that I had so I'm just going to show this to y'all so first and foremost I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that I have on the shelf here uh, this right here this right here is uh, my one of my prize possessions. It's a uh, True Heart Exalca uh, anime figurine. Uh, these right here are uh, my Namco Gal figurines. Uh, this one's of uh, these two are of Sharon from uh, Newman Athletics, and then this one is of uh, the uh, Priestess Kai from uh, the Tower Draga. And then this, while well, this is not anime related, uh, these these paper craft figures right alongside here, as I just knocked one over, are of uh, Rufus and Gull from the uh, Deponia series. So, yeah, I went ahead and uh, printed those out and cut them out. Uh, they were paper craft kits that uh, came with the game whenever you bought it on steam but anyway uh that's just uh some of the stuff uh, that i've got right there and of course you see in the back there there's like a little pixelated thing of mega man but yeah uh anyway let's get to the substance here the nitty gritty uh so this is uh in alphabetical order uh i've got everything in alphabetical order here uh even my games are in alphabetical order to to be honest, not my board games, but my video games, because I, I, I like to keep them that way. Uh, but anyway, this is, uh, the, these are my uh, anime DVD and Blu-ray sets, so here we go. Uh, this one right here, I've got Akira, uh, this is the 25th anniversary edition. I actually see this movie as more of like a, a, a feature film more than I do see it as, a, as an actual anime. I mean, it's just that good. It's... It's a freaking masterpiece, as far as as far as I'm concerned. Uh, right here, I've got uh, Azamanga Dao. Uh, this is the uh, this is the complete series of the uh, the animation, and, and I freaking love Azamanga Dao. It's it's one of my one of my all time favorite slice of life anime. Really good, like it. That's it's one of my favorites. Uh, Bamboo Bamboo Blade. Uh, this one's another another good one. It's it's a slice of life ish kind of uh, thing. So it's really really good too. And then I've got uh, I got Brave Witches, which is the uh, it, it's the sequel series to Strike Witches, uh, which is really really good. Um, I can get it back in there. Um, the Blaze Blue, Alter Memory. Uh, good anime adaptation of the video game series. Uh, I like it. Uh, Burst Angel. Uh, Burst Angel, it, it, it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's decent for what it is. So. Um, and then we got... Uh, uh, C control. Um, this one's okay. I mean, if you're if you're into like economics and personal finance stuff, then yeah, this stuff will, will make sense to you. But uh, you know, really, in all seriousness, th this uh, right here is kind of more or less of one of those things. Is kind of like a, a fever dream for those kinds of people. But yeah, so. Uh, over here, I've got uh, Chaos Head, based on the visual novel, which I'm not sure if we even got that visual novel here here in the states, but uh, uh, it is. That's the anime adaptation to it. Um, so yeah, and then uh, uh, Chrono Crusade. Uh, this one's a pretty dang good one. I, I like it. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, I've got. Uh, 
the uh, the complete series of uh, Cowboy Bebop. I love this series. Uh, it's one of my all-time favorites. Um, a lot of good, a lot of good quotes I could quote from that, but just don't have the time. And then I've got the uh, the movie itself, um, and uh, the movie's really good too. Um, but yeah, it's this whole thing right there. I uh, freaking love to watch it. Uh, Cyborg 009. Uh, this one I remember watching when I was in middle school, and uh, I actually enjoyed it. So uh, I thought it was really, really good for what it was. Um, it's not the entire thing of Cyborg 009 because, uh, well, it's it's a pretty long anime series, but uh, this is like a good bit of like I think the first season of it, but it's still good. Um, anyway, g going on here, moving on. I uh, got uh, Dance of Vampire Bund. Um, you know, to be honest, the uh, the manga is a lot better, so. Just gonna say that, and then I've got uh, uh, Dang and Rompa right here. Uh, many of you have uh, heard about me and my my kind of love hate thing for Dang and Rompa. I, I love I love Dang and Rompa, but at the same time, I kind of hate it because it kind of eclipsed the Zero Escape series. But uh, nevertheless, never the less, Dang and Rompa is a really good, really good anime adaptation. And then I've got. I've got both. Uh, I've got both the uh, despair and future arc of uh, Danganronpa three, and those are really good too. Um, <clears throat> okay, so moving on, uh, got uh, the whole thing of Dark Stalkers. This is actually the. Uh, it's not really an anime. It's actually just the the the. It's. It's Western animation, but it's it's still, you know, it is what it is. I don't really don't really care much for it, but <laughs> for what they for what they were trying to do with it back then, it was it, it's still good. Uh, Demon King Damao. Um, yeah, if you like harem stuff, then yeah, go for it. Uh, I'm not I'm not, not going to judge you for that. Uh, anyway. Uh, over here next is the uh, Double Survivor 2 animation. Uh, it's really good uh, animated adaptation of Double Survivor 2. Uh, I love Double Survivor. And then right here I've got uh, uh, DG Sharat, uh, which is uh, it's it's a cute little slice of life-ish kind of anime, you know. Um, and then over here. I've got the whole thing of I got the whole thing of Dirty Pair. This is the this is the first half of the complete set, and then right here is the second half of the complete set, and then I've got the uh, the OVAs as well, the the, the films. So, and uh, I love Dirty Pair. Freaking love this series. Um, I've even got the uh, the uh, game on the uh, Famicom Disk System, which isn't really good, but you know, still you can break it out and have have a little bit of fun with it every now and then. But anyway, uh, Disgaea. This is a another uh, anime that's uh, adapted from a video game. So. Uh, and, and this is actually a good take on it. It's, 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 an, it's an interesting twist. I like it uh, a lot. So, yeah. And then uh, Divergence Eve. I'll be honest with you. I picked this one up. And uh, I, I haven't had the time to really uh, watch it yet. So, um, yeah. Some, some, of these, some of these, I'll be honest, I haven't watched yet. But I, I really do want to take the time to watch them because, um, you know, I, I look at them, I do see their value to them, and, uh, you know, that's the reason why I buy them. And I also, I also enjoy them, you know, just the artwork to them. It's really good. Uh, Ducky Ducky School Hours, I love this whole series. It's another, 
it's another slice of life. Um, it's it's really good. It's really good. It's not as good as Osmog Dio, but it, you know, for what it is, you're you're going you're going to get a lot you're going to get a lot of good laughs out of it. Um, anyway, moving on, I've got. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Dragon Art Academy. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect when I when I was uh, when I was buying this. I had I had honestly nothing to expect. It's not a hentai or anything like that. It's just it's just very risque imagery for for what's supposed to be a, a uh, an anime. But then again, you know, there's a good amount of anime out there that has fan service in it, and there's nothing wrong with fan service. I've mentioned that before in Twitter, and I've uh, and I've talked about it before is that there is nothing wrong with fan service. If you have a problem with fan service, well, you need to reevaluate yourself and take a look at what it's on TV and in film nowadays, because there's fan service all over the place, not just in anime. So, I mean, good heavens. And then I've got. Uh, uh, Evangelion uh, 2.22 so yeah I've got that uh, I, and, and I like these movies but uh, the, this I'll be honest with you when it comes down to like the to the uh, Evangelion films uh, some of the film some of the film stories they need to be told better that's just my personal opinion but uh, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on that, but uh, it is what it is. But yeah, and then I got Evangelion 3.33. You cannot redo. Um, and then right here I've got uh, El Cazador de la Bruja. This is another good uh, anime series. It's a short one, but it, you know, for what it is. It's really, really good, and I, I freaking love it. Uh, especially if you like westerns, this one, this is actually uh, pretty darn good. But yeah, I uh, got Fate Stay Not. Uh, not a good anime, but fun to watch regardless. Um, yeah, so, and then I've got uh, Fate Stay Not Unlimited Blade Works, uh, the movie. And you'll notice the lack of uh, Fate Zero, uh, that's because I dislike Gunnar Obuchi's work with a passion. Uh, there, there's only, there's only really, there's only really Fate Stay Night, and then of course it's spinoffs, but Fate Zero I never really could stand. Uh, just end of story on that. I just really couldn't stand it. Um... And, you know, I just I just never cared for Gino Urbucci's work. I never cared for Madoka Magica. I never cared for uh, Cyan Uda. I uh, didn't care for any of those. Uh, and, and I guess it's just mainly because of the edginess of, of his work. Not edgy, edgy. Uh, just the edginess of his work. I just never cared for. You don't have to be edgy with every freaking thing. That's my problem with it. That's my problem with him. Anyway. Uh, got, uh, Fate Collide Liner, Prisma Ilya. I've got, um, I've got that as well as I've got, uh, the, I've got the second season of it. And, uh, I got, I got third season of it. And now, now this is a, this is an anime series, honestly, that, uh, you may like it, you may not. Depends. Uh, I mean, if you're, if. If you can stand it, cool. If you can't, I, I understand too. It's just you know, it's just one of those. So it's one of those things you're gonna love or you're gonna hate, uh, or dislike rather. But anyway, uh, I've got uh, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. Uh, this the uh, complete thing on Blu-ray. So, and then I've got. Uh, I got Fully Coley. This is the complete series. Um, now this does not have like the second or third season of Fully Coley, but it, you know, for what it is, it's still good. It's Fully Coley. I freaking love it. Uh, I can watch it whenever I want. Anyway, uh, got uh, Ghost in the Shell. This is another one of those films I actually consider to be more of a feature film than uh, anything else. 
and then I've got uh, uh, Gustin Shell Standalone Complex, and then Gustin Shell Standalone Complex Second Gig. So I've got those. Um, and then right here I've got uh, Girls Bravo. This is another one of those horror anime. Uh, if again, if you like horror anime, that's cool. If you don't, you know, that then that's cool too. So you know, it, it's not for everybody. And then I got uh, Goblin Slayer. And, and I'm going to say right now, if you if you like you know D and D stuff, you know Dungeons and Dragons, you'll freaking love this series. This is this is just awesome. Uh, that and then I've got. I've got the I've got the movie as well, so Goblin's Crown, so those are those are really really good. Um, if I can get it back in the thing there, there we go. All right. <laughs> so as we move on, I've got um, uh, the complete collection of Gunslinger Girl. Um, I love Gunslinger Girl. It's just it, it it can be a little bit depressing at times. It's just it's one of those things that you know you have to be in a kind of certain mood in order to watch. Uh, then I've got uh, uh, Hatsune Miku um, Magical Mirai. I, I think this is a concert thing, if I remember correctly. So it's it's not it's not entirely anime ish, but you know it's. It's a, uh, I think it's a concert thing, but yeah. Uh, got House Moving Castle. Uh, I, I love, I love just about any movie from Studio Ghibli. So House Moving Castle, that's it's definitely, definitely a good uh, film. It's a good adaptation of the book. Um, all that good stuff. Um, and then got Hyperdimension Neptunia. Uh, this is another one of those that's uh, based off of a video game, uh, a very popular video game series nowadays, might add. But uh, yeah, it's it's fun to watch. Uh, it it definitely has a, little, a good amount of fan service in it, but uh, for what it is, it's really really good. Um, and then I've got uh, one that's just completely overloaded with fan service, and that's Indian Summer. So. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there are some things where you, you can have a little bit too much fan service in it, and it kind of ruins the experience, but uh, more often than not, the fan service is usually balanced in, 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 in a good amount of these, but yeah. Uh, interviews with Monster Girls, uh, this one's another, uh, this is another good, um, as, as, a, as it slips out, yeah, uh, this is another good uh, Slice of Life anime. So, yeah. Uh, go ahead, put that back. And then I've got uh, Kanta Collection. And you know what's interesting is that we got the anime series, but we've never got any form of the game itself. And I wonder why. I, I, I really wonder why, because, you know, it, it's just so dang popular. It's unbelievable. But yeah, anyway. Um, Kandagawa Jet Girls, this is another uh, anime based on a video game. And that's uh, really good. Uh, Kiki's Delivery Service, uh, this is one of the first anime I've ever watched. So I've got memories with that one. So it's really good. Uh, Legend of the Mystical Ninja, uh, I love. I love the Mystical Ninja series. This is uh, based on another video game series, a very popular one in Japan. And uh, I love just how awesome this series is. It's, just, it's freaking cool. Uh, then I've got uh, another anime here that is, well, it's in the style of Western animation here, but um, uh, Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland. This is a movie that, that I watched when I was a kid. Freaking loved it. Enjoyed it. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I like to watch it every now and then. I, I'm going to say this right now. This is actually the non-rated version. and uh, Which, from what I understand, it corresponds to a PG-13 rating, from what I understand. And um, 
yeah, it, it gets pretty freaking dark later on. So, uh, but yeah, it, it's it's really really good. So, anyway, back into it. Uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Uh, this is a good anime series for what it is. Um, it's hit and miss, but it, mostly it's good. Um, then I've got uh, the girl who leapt through time. And uh, this one actually has uh, if I can pull it out. There we go. This one actually has um, an art book in it. And I just zoomed in for some stupid reason. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, it's got an art book and everything in it. So. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't show much of it on camera here, but uh, yeah, uh, trust me on this. This is uh, more than a Blu-ray. It's it's got uh, more than a DVD. Uh, was this DVD? Oh, it's Blu-ray and DVD. So um, it, it's got it's got more to it than uh, uh, than just the film itself. It's got an art book and everything with it. But yeah. Um, and then I got this piece of crap. Master of Martial Arts. And, and it says right there, Anime Classics. I had no idea what I was getting myself into when I, when I first bought this. I know it had fan service in it and stuff. And that's really uh, one of the main reasons why I bought it. But this thing is so low with, with fan service. And yet the plot twist at the very end, it just really turns me off from this whole thing. This... This thing's absolute freaking garbage. I, I I don't even know why I have it in my in my collection. So there's that. Uh, yeah. So next up we've got Spirited Away, another uh, good uh, Miyazaki film that, that I freaking love. Uh, Studio Ghibli and all that good stuff. So. There's that, and then I've got uh, Monster Musume. I'll admit it's on my shelf. I'll admit I have it, but in all honesty, you know, this has probably some of the kinkiest fan service I have ever seen in my life. And quite honestly, I don't even know why I have it. Anyway. Uh, next up, My Neighbor Totoro. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is the very first anime I've ever watched in my entire life. I watched it when I was about four years old. And I absolutely loved it. I loved it so much, I, I started watching other uh, anime. I watched uh, Speed Racer. I watched uh, Sailor Moon. And, and just went on from there. So, yeah. Uh, then I've got, uh, Nausicaa, The Valley of the Wind, uh, which is another good one. And then I've got, like, the whole thing of, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. And I love Neon Genesis Evangelion. It's just some of the movies with the plot need to be told better, I thought. It's just, yeah. Now, I don't have, I think it's... I think it's the end of Evangelion I don't have. I don't know. I, I keep forgetting what it's called. But yeah. I don't have that one. And then I've got uh, Onishambara Bikini Samurai Squad. This isn't really an anime. It's a live action. But uh, it's based off a video game. And I decided to get it. Just mainly to see what it was like. Uh, and uh, it, it's, it's alright. It's alright for what it is. But yeah. Anyway. Moving on down to the... Uh, Moving on down the lower shelf, we got um, Penny and Stocking with Garter Belt. Uh, this one's uh, another good one. Uh, again, it's 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 in the style of flash animation, but it's still really really good, and, and, I, and I like it. So, yeah. Uh, Princess Mononoke. Uh, love love this. Uh, it's uh, another Studio Ghibli classic. Uh, Queen's Blade, the Exiled Virgin. Uh, this is uh, 
Well, if you like fan service, this is, this is, uh, you be in heaven with this one, but, uh, daggone, I mean, uh, this, this one's really, really good for what it is. And, and if you, if you like, if you like fan service and you like, uh, D&D &D stuff, you love it. Anyway. Uh, Ronda one half. This is the, uh, complete box set of season one. So, uh. Yeah, I, I, I love this. Um, I love Ron the one half. Uh, I like it probably more than I do any Yasha. So that that's saying something. But yeah, and I got uh, the OVA and movies collection. So there's that. And then let me get everything slotted back in here. Back on. I, I tell you, some some of these things are such a pain in the ass to get back in here. Anyway, um, at uh, I've got the uh, season one part one, season one part two of Re Zero. Uh, starting life in another world. This, you know, this is actually a really good uh, series. Um, it's actually one of the few anime out there that I actually do watch that's uh, a concurrent anime that's going on right now. A very popular anime. So I do watch this. So, yeah. Next up, I got uh, Rose and Maiden. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not getting any... I'm not talking about any, uh, any Desu jokes. Get the hell out of there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I've got that. I've got, um, I think this is Ruby season one through four, if I remember correctly. Oh, volumes one through three. Yeah. This is volumes one through three of Ruby. And then I've got like the whole Ruby set right here. I'm not, I'm not going to pull all these out, but y you get what I mean. Uh, I've got all the way up to volume seven of ruby and i love ruby i love uh, yang shalong I, I love love her uh she is definitely my ruby waifu but anyway um and then i've got saga of tanya the evil you know this is actually a pretty hilarious one to, to, to kind of watch i mean it's just one of the one of the craziest things out there but uh yeah um and then I've got uh, Sailor Moon. Got Sailor Moon right there. And then I've got uh, Sailor Moon R. And then I've got Sailor Moon R the movie. So, yeah. And I've got uh, Soccer Wars complete TV series. I love Soccer Wars. Uh, it's, it's based off a of video game series. And I freaking love it. And then I've got... Um, I got the OVA collection as well, and then I do have some more. They're like back here and sitting next to uh, some of my books, like *To Kill a Mockingbird* and all that crap. Uh, I've got uh, *Soccer Wars* the animation. This is based on the new one, which was pretty good. Um, and then I've got *Soccer Wars* the movie, which. Uh, really really good and then I've got uh, Samurai Bride which is the sequel to Samurai Girls um, okay so I think I know what's going on with my camera here and it, it, it goes off whenever uh, I've been going past 30 minutes so yeah let's just let's just continue shall we anyway um, got Samurai Champloo this is the whole thing and I freaking love the series. I watched it all the time when it was on Adult Swim back in the day. And then I've got uh, Samurai Girls. Which is really, really good. And again, if you like, if you like harem anime stuff, then you'd, you'd freaking love it. Uh, I've got uh, Sekirei, which is another harem slash fan service thing uh it's really really good um and then i've got uh Senran kagura which is 
based on uh, the video game series. This is uh, Center and Carter and Ninja Flash. And then beside that, I've got Sinner uh, and Kagura Shinobi Master. So, yeah, I've got the uh, I got the whole thing right here. And then I've got uh, the the Super Sonico animation, which is really good. And then I've got the whole thing of Spice and Wolf. I love Spice and Wolf. So, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a fun anime to watch. And then I've got, I love this. This is Steins Gate. This is the whole thing. Good anime adaptation of the visual novel. Uh, pretty dang faithful to it. Love it. And then I've got, uh, Steins Gate the movie. Um... So there's that, and then here I've got Strike Witches, and then I've got uh, Strike Witches 2, and uh, yeah, I love Strike Witches, it's just freaking awesome. So that's the uh, bottom shelf, but we're not done yet. Because there's some that are lodged in the back here. Um, so we're going to go over these a little bit at a time here. So let's, let's go ahead and see here. This is uh, Strike Witches the movie. So there's that. And then I've got... The whole thing of uh, Simpo Gear. I've got first season, uh, the complete second season, third season of Simpo Gear. I love Simpo Gear. It's probably my favorite anime to this day. And then I've got the fourth season. It's pretty awesome. It's, it's like. It's like if Vocaloids went to war or some shit, but yeah, I, I love it. Uh, then I've got uh, the anime adaptation of uh, Tears to Tiara, which is a, uh, it's an anime that's based on a uh, visual novel. So yeah, that's, that's actually pretty good. Uh, and then um, moving over, trying to get this out. I got the whole thing of... Uh, the boondocks now a lot of you are probably saying that you know it's not really an anime but it's in that style it's, it's western animation but it is in that style of anime and I actually love it so that's the whole thing and, and it definitely talks a lot about some social issues uh, and societal issues and it tackles a lot of those like in, in such a tour de force manner it's just awesome but anyway uh legend of heroes trails in the sky I, I love the video game i love the anime it's it's all really good and then got melancholy of harvey suzumiya and then i've got Sacred Blacksmith, which is okay. Uh, I think I like the manga better than I do the uh, the anime, but uh, it's still really, really good. Probably need to glue that down, though. It's getting kind of worn out there, but yeah. Um, and then I've got uh, Tell the Princess Kaguya, which is another Studio Ghibli film, and uh, it's pretty pretty darn good one. So... Putting all this back as, uh, you know, weave the camera here and there, but, um, yeah, um, but yeah, that's one thing I just now discovered with this camera is that it can only take, it can only take like 30 minutes of footage before it goes off, and I don't understand why. I need to probably look into the settings on that and see about getting it to, uh, 
run a bit longer if it can. I don't know. So, uh, again, this is a new camera that I got. I got, I, I just got it last year. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, moving on, we've got more right here. Um, yeah, and as you can see, it's like next to Army of Darkness and all that stuff. Uh, I've got, um, and, and that having been said, yes, Army of Darkness. I am an Evil Dead fan, so yeah. Um, those who hunt elves, uh, this one is, uh, it's okay. It's not great. Uh, next up, we got, uh, Udawari Ramono, well, I love this. Uh, this is um, this is another good uh, anime adaptation of a visual novel. And then I've got uh, Valkyrie Drive Mermaid, which is very fan service heavy, but it's still pretty good. And then, uh, then I've got When They Cry, Higurashi no Naku Korani. And I love this. It's a gore fest, but man, it's a good one. And then I've got uh, When They Cry, Higurashi no Noko Korani Kai. And then, yeah, just slide down like that. Yeah. Uh, Higurashi, When They Cry. Uh, Hiroshi no Naku Koreni Rei, which is, uh, which is really, really good. And then, I've got another thing that's dear to me back here, and that is the complete series of Zillion, which is based on one of my favorite, uh, video games for the Sega Master System. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it as far as, like, all the anime I've got is concerned. So, um, let me see if I can get all this, all this crap put back in here. Just real quickly. But, yeah, um, that's all the anime I really have. And, and I know I didn't go into, into full depth on this, but if I did, it, you know, it'd be a, it, this would be an extremely long video. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, by far, um, one, one of my bigger collections that I have, and that is anime. Uh, I have more anime, honestly, than I do actual, uh, films or, uh, TV show collections of other things. So, that's saying a lot about me. But anyway, uh, let me get this all back in here real quick I don't know you're staring at the whole thing here but yeah uh, that's pretty much all there is to it here and uh, like I said I know I didn't go into full detail on everything that I had but you know, that, that's been pretty much it. Now, I could have sworn I had Evangelion 1.11. But it's it's probably lost in that shelf somewhere. So, maybe I might find it. Maybe I might post it on fa on Twitter or something like that. But, yeah. Um, I was about to say Facebook, but I don't use Facebook. But, yeah. Uh, other than that, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, post a comment. Post whatever you feel like uh, posting. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, but, yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, little tour of my anime collection. Uh, if you're wondering what the cook ball is for, that's actually for, uh, that's actually for uh, quarters for uh, uh, the laundry. But, yeah, other than that, that's about it. Um so yeah, um, that, uh, that's my whole anime collection. I really hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope that, uh, uh, the later days are going to go well for y'all, but yeah, 
Um, I'm hoping to soon, speaking of later days, I am hoping to get back into making more videos here soon. Uh, and if you're wondering about some of the other things that are here in the shelf, I do have some books like Dune and, you know, uh, Game of Thrones and all that crap, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, but yeah, other than that, um, uh, that's all I've got for right now, so just feel like... Post whatever you feel like, post a comment, post a like, uh, subscribe, you know, support the channel, all that good stuff. So, yeah, uh, I really hope that y'all enjoyed this uh, look at my anime collection, and uh, I hope that uh, y'all have a, have a wonderful day. So, take care. See ya.